Hi, this is called doing the video. Video. B I D V E O. Hey, how's it going out there in Nut, nut World? Hi, Doctor! Yes, we'll see you tomorrow, Doc. What the blaze is fuck? Oh, we got that silly thing on the wrong. Whatever. Oh, I got a stretch. It's a colder day today, not warm. <coughs> okay, so what's on? Oh, wow. Cold day today. I'm so sorry. Wasn't that a song, guys? Wasn't that a song? I'm so sorry. Brenda Lee, was it? That's an ancient song, I think, isn't it? That's very ancient, Barbara. Uh, well, working today on a variac and making a housing for it. It's down here. Did that within two hours, so it's got a new housing and outlets. Barbarella! Got my Marjorie look today, huh? So I learned uh, Tom Bearden passed away. When was that? January 21. But that's kind of sad because I thought he... Oddly, I thought he already passed away because I heard rumors, but... Well, that's a great person. He was sick for a long, long time, too. And... Um, I only met, I communicated with Thomas. Let's see, hold here. Might phone. Communicated with Thomas in 83. Wow, that's a long time ago. And Thomas sent uh, videos at that time. What the hell? <laughs> Alright, and it's kind of sitting weird here. Anyway, I slouch down and see if I can. Yeah. I think so. But I, I did think he passed away some years ago, but I, I don't know. But I did, on his legacy, I left some message. It's kind of sad in a way. I wasn't too sad because I was expecting it. I heard he passed away a long time ago. Years ago, actually. Ooh. So many people have passed away. <laughs> Let me figure this thing out here with the... It's way too low, and I don't want to start it over again by putting it somewhere else. Take it will hold here, will it? Oh, too slippery. <laughs> anyway, it's God bless you, Thomas. You're a good kind of supporter and friend for a long, long time. So. Anyway, uh, let's see over here. This is other news, I guess. Um, See, the, the cameras are on the very bottom here, so I'm not too sure how to, mm, without getting part of the, see what I mean by that part getting in the way, but, oh, um, we'll see how that works. Oh, I know it. I think I got uh, a tool I want to put there. There. You know what? This grips. Might work. Hmm. 
point where, you know, now, see how that camera picks up everything? I think that's gonna work. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Out of the range. There we go. Let's push it out a little more. It'll be okay at home. Go, truckers, go! Honk, honk! It's quite the event in Canada going on, isn't it? There's a lot of videos about it as well. Um, I wonder what uh, Baby Trudeau's going to do about any a couple of war measures act like Daddy did a long time ago. You never know with these crazy politicians. And you got a couple of them, one in Russia and one in the USA trying to start World War Three, I guess. Talk about crazy people. Anyway. This looks like it's moving a bit. Well, I guess not. Oh, God. So I was working a lot today and I got a stretch, so. Bear with me. I mean, you know what I mean, bear. Bear with me. Wink, wink. That could be a lot of fun. <laughs> hey, John, you're such a dirty slut. Yes, I know. Anyway. did happen yet yesterday. I took a shower. Then um, my good friend overseas sent me a link to George Hathaway gave a lecture not too long ago which is kind of intriguing. I'm very happy for George. I always feel I kind of let him down because of my weird behavior and having many interests besides one dedicated interest. And not working in Toronto with him. That would have been funded by Prince Hans Adam Liechtenstein, by the way, according to Liechtenstein's letters. But trying to explain this somehow, I have a lot of other interests besides sex, lies, and audio tape. Uh, I have interest in machinery and vintage Navy stuff and firearms, vintage firearms, cannons, artillery, machines. Plus my lifestyle is uniquely weird too. I do the life extension stuff with vitamins and minerals and enzymes and all the nine yards forever. And sometimes, some days I feel like just sitting in the sun all day, which I did the other day. I mean, I need it. So, keep explaining this kind of weird stuff. <laughs> but George is a genius. You can trust him with your life. This is George Hathaway. Trust him with your life, as well as your discoveries. And George has seen a lot of stuff small percentage of it is real and most of it is junk I mean it's not real <coughs> testing different things that don't work oh there's a lot of them there's probably John Searle stuff and oh most of the stuff is useless claims and egos scientific egos are terrible you gotta realize I'm, I keep saying this every time I'm not a scientist, not an inventor. I just like working with vintage. I have no use for plastic stuff. And even also aluminum. I don't like aluminum. It's got its proper uses in other things, but for me, I don't like it. <laughs> to me, it's a... Uh, super plastic kind of thing, and it's just lightweight, gooey stuff, you know? Anyway, I 
just my own weird fetish, just so to speak. Turning my shift wheel. I don't know. I'm a bronze, brass, and nut, and good steel freak. Cast iron, yeah, it's got its purpose. It's if it's bulky, but I like steel better. Machine, most machine tools are cast iron, but if they were steel, they work just probably a lot better too. Of course, it's about the same, I guess. About those, but this is my fetish. Iron Man. style look today. It's going to have um, uh, Kathleen from uh, Texas that uh, I'm not that wired up. <laughs> I got my moods. I got my moods, Captain, please. I'm a Klingon. Hello, Mr. Wolf. I'm a Klingon, Captain. I'm with honor. I don't like that Hutchison guy on my on the ship. Hey, please, Mr. Wolf, please tolerate the idiot for a while. Will you? Captain, please, no. He's all screwy. He's got screws for you, Captain. <laughs> I was doing these imitations when I was on the warships, by the way. Did you know that, my little kumquat? I even got videos of me doing crazy stuff. <laughs> uh, TLC filmed me on Yukon. I think it was Yukon, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. They just did Yukon. Using the film too. HFCS Columbia was used in X Files a lot. Also, Riverview Hospital was used quite a bit in X Files. But anyway, I'm just wandering around like normal. Oh, yeah. Let me just uh, some stupid thing over here. Anyway. Oh, God. Listen, heavy. Brass. Oh, that's it. That's kind of cool, then. It? It's very heavy. I think it's about 12 pounds. Ah. It, what's they call it? Atatola Comanche or something? I come from Saudi Arabia. Uh, imagine this thing with gold. I am a Saudi Arabian. Okay, enough of that. I'm going to machine this down, by the way, so... It's a big lathe when I get around to it. Ugh. Sawdust and metal chips. Oh, should I show you this thing that it's working on? Oh, that's still okay. Mm, mm, Here we go. Kind of messy, but I'm clipping all the wires and redoing it. I'll put it down to cut it. That was used, um, that very act in the middle. It was used in the 1988 lab, as people call it a lab, it's more of a collection. I think I got it from Peter Sakura. It was given back to me by Alec, who rescued some of the lab when I was in uh, going to Germany, and it's going to be shipped, but there's a partnership problem. It went to Supreme Court, British Columbia, Canada. Um, Environment Canada got involved, suspected PCBs, and a lot of 
other stuff was put behind a fence. Soon it made the news, and I got the news stories on the Vancouver Sun. But Alec was able to rescue some of the pieces and parts. And that he brought a, uh, these two very acts over a while ago. When he comes to visit again, Alec is my other partner, Alec Sharashevsky of Vancouver. That's my second partner, along with George Lissa case. So, um, when I returned from Germany, of course, Richard Glue in Barham and County gave me the key to the mini storage in Surrey. Shergard mini storage in Surrey. Where I retrieved all my machine guns and rifles and pistols and firearm stuff, some machine tools and some actual good portion of the electronics. It's vintage electronics, that is, which I put in my sister's garage. And then I decided to get rid of everything and I did it. Gun collectors will never forgive me for getting rid of my original Colt made Browning 50 caliber heavy barrel machine gun all decked out. Cliff Chan, my buddy since 70s, do not forget me. Wesley Baker will not forgive me. And oh well, I'm sorry about that. I made a mistake. A beautiful Lewis machine gun. It's I'm, I sometimes make the worst decisions you could think of. I mean, these things are quite valuable and fun to play with the proper environment as well as when I moved out of New West, I got rid of stuff I should never got rid of too. But oh well, life goes on, doesn't it? So, uh, let's see, let's Oh well. Oh my god, I gotta stretch, man. I gotta work on stretch. Oh, that's a good stretch. Oh. in the other room, huh? See what how dark it is out the window here, huh? I think it's getting you know, it's getting kind of dim. Not too bad, but cloudy though. All right, I guess I have to hold it, and I don't know where to put it. How long I've been trying to fifty ninety minutes on the. 19 minutes of incomprehensible gibberish. <laughs> Being a, a neurotic like I am, I'm slightly narcissistic. I do like my cigarette. I guess the narcissistic person likes taking selfies. Selfie?
I might, might film for you. Oh yeah, the animals, birds, ravens, squirrel are having fun outside there today and I got one video, video, video of a raven talking to another raven far away. They're so funny that I just don't like iPads. So anyway, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. stretching. Hmm. Yeah, stretching, Dr. Winfield. Oh yeah, stretch, Johnny boy, stretch. Oh, I know. Wait a minute. Let's to make this into a long, stupid video. Thing on. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. Will you join me as I stretch on the floor? There's a back thing I, I use once in a while. It's a half round. I'll show you what it is. What out here? This thing. What you do with this, so you lay it down like that. And lay on it. So, whoa. Are you still with me? <laughs> I guess so. And you let yourself. Wow. Wow. This feels good. Yep. Let's get the right the center of the back. Let your head dangle over. Like so. Oh, wow. Ugh. Doctor Who did it. Hi. <laughs> or do I look crazy? Flying through the air. Ooh, whoa, whoa, man. <sighs> Hi. Oh, yeah, this is good. Gotta keep ballast on it. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> oh, let's see. Oh, I guess you can't see. Okay, oh, I still. <sighs> yeah, okay. Oops. Ugh. Oh, hold on. Mm. Oh. Oh, wow. Mm, wow. That's a real good treatment. Phew. Mm. Oh, it's a filter. 
Um, here. <laughs> This thing is half round. Fits on the floor perfect. It's made for stretching and then it does work. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. The lighting is different in here. Hmm. <coughs> wah, 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 wah. Hear these rumbling sounds. I'm wondering if. Let me think. I hear these rumbling sounds. Let's find out if it's actually a uh, thunder and lightning somewhere going on. How do I tell? Well, I'll show you. Oh, here we are. Simple radio. A little portable radio thing that comes up to, I think, about 20 megacycles, actually. Oh. Hmm. Send your antenna. These things are kind of like a, a third eye. Just an ordinary radio. I don't hear any cracks, so it's probably traffic. And I usually tune it in, um, oh, 500 uh, to 600 kilocycle range, 1600s, and then I go up to a meg and two megs, three megs. I usually tell if there's a storm or other weird things like pre-earthquake cracks and punches. I learned that in um, Lynn Valley, North Vancouver. I had a radio going on the popular songs, you know, which I love. And uh, I hear this pattern of static sound go on for a week or more and then there was an earthquake. I mean a mild one but and then it would stop so static would stop so I took note of that and so when I was a kid listening to my dad's radio and playing with it 
and picking up different weird static patterns. What's it changed over the years? Number stations and all kinds of short wave stuff. And skip distances, ionospheric uh, transition of the signals during the day, suntime, nighttime. Fascinating stuff. And radio people know all that stuff, so. <laughs> it has FM. Actually, you won't find too much on FM, but it's lower bands for sure. Then I have my radio receiver, which is R390s and FRR59s. Collins and Watkins and Johnson and Hammerlund, dozens of other names. Which at night, I'd one right a Hammerlund by my bedside, and I could hear all kinds of different things. Then you get into the military, Navy, VHF, and UHF, you hear all kinds of stuff. Picked up the space shuttle and the cops and others. And I got into cell phones, listening in on conversations with this guy right here. A spectrum analyzer, it's got a... Why don't we turn around here? It's a used in the apartment in the New West. It's got resting things, because... I'll do this, you know, and tune it. So the audio, it has audio. You just simply put it into an amplifier and pick up the audio along with all the different signal variations. So I heard a lot of cell phones on that guy. Again, as I mentioned before, I got it from the University of British Columbia with its mate which is a lower frequency, this goes up to 10 megacycles to, what are you, 44 gigahertz? And we've still got the University of British Columbia the stamp on it. It was used in their astronomy lab, so. Anyway, I should go. I mean, I've been talking a long time at 32 minutes. Holy moly, Barbara. <coughs> That's nothing, people have videos that go on forever. And one of the most irritating videos I've seen recently, and I had to turn the volume on, was that guy who does fishing with a magnet. He's irritating, and there's another irritating person. I think it was YouTube's uh, hydraulic press. Some people's voices are extremely irritating. Stretching. I'm still stretching. So I'm act silly. Hi. Well, I should do all that in another video, I think, don't you think? Hi. And I'll be acting silly. Life's like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get in the box. Marjorie. I'm just an old gal from uh, Kalamazoo. Lost a diamond space. <laughs> this is fun. She really get dolled up and get makeup. I just hammer that. I done it <laughs> in public too. I get a lot of comments too. A lot of trying to pick me up business, which I get a lot of on uh, fun book and messenger. I get all these people. Oh, I don't I want to be my wife. It's it's interesting. Oh, you're so sexy. Some of the comments. Oh, I gotta leave you. I think people that do this 
live in a fantasy world of just their, their phone, you know, the same that people have, and have their, always looking at it, these things. This is not a phone, but it's about the same size. They're always walking around like, let's see if I can do it. That kind of stuff, I have no idea what the hell they're doing. <laughs> I don't own a phone. I have antique phones. And I had a phone in New Westminster with a landline, and it was just push buttons or a dial. I didn't really want a phone. I was offered a phone. I said, no, thanks. Because you got doing something and it rings or something else happens. Uh, no, thank you. I'll just use a little iPad and Skype for communication by voice or Zoom, which is very rare. I do like my privacy. And to be something, I do get, to, uh, what is it? Um, on Messenger, I get these weird um, video calls and even sometimes voice stuff. But I just don't bother with it. I, just, you know, I haven't got time for that stuff. So. See, how's it go? I got an alert on iPad. A uh, video call, something like that. I did uh, accept at one time, there was a gentleman in, looked like Pakistan, minding a store and selling, um, actually, veggies. He wanted to see what it looked like. He thought it was sexy and hot, so. I didn't even show myself. <laughs> oh, some of them have, you know, they click on it, and they're uh, kind of naked, you know, I don't, like, wanting me to look at them or something, but I got my finger over this, like that, so they can't see anything, then I just click off. I'm wondering, I'm wondering to myself, gee, you know, there's real life instead of this nonsense. Haven't you got a playmate somewhere in Pakistan or Saudi Arabia? Or, but most of the heavy traffic is from the Middle East. Why, I don't know. Sometimes I get a woman No, thank you. No, thank you. I like real life, not... Yeah, actually, I'm finding the internet extremely exhausting and boring, although... <sighs> it is really boring. So, here I am uploading these really ridiculous videos. But I do it in my wind down time. After a lot of physical activity, I like to make a video. And of course, show off, show off my beauty. So I got my own set of self-made purgatory things. But I learn a lot from uh, the a uh, lot of videos and things. I study them. I go on eBay, spend hours searching for stuff so I can live without. And I go on Fun Book, and it's on more people who get like, 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 like. Well, it's easy to like, but any messages? And there's a few messages, but. And YouTube had Messenger too. Somebody was wanting me to 
release the information on the power cells, the big power cells, I presume, which is barium titanate induced with Weber's excitation at 18 kilocycles as measured by Kyoto Institute of Technology in Japan. I would make these for clients. And they would pay me and analyze them and test them. But the regular little power cells, anybody can make them. Uh, we open sourced that years ago. So check out on YouTube. Hutchison Effect Power Cell or Crystal Battery. Some folks like Laser Saber has exceeded what I made in those things. And I only will make one if I'm paid well or a donation. Okay, but it's going to take me going into that massive box of papers and find the receipts from Sirac and Goodfellas and the wafers. If I had the papers, I have thrown out papers. I threw out half of that stuff. Stuff that I felt was not worth anything. The receipts, I don't know. Might have them and might not. I don't know. things for a number of good client really good still good friends of mine still in communication with them once in a while so that's the story on the power cell stuff anyway how long now has it been oh 41 minutes oh my goodness oh The raving lunatic Klingon princess. You know, I like my title of my YouTube channel. Right to the maximum end of the limit. And I could care less if it's you or not. Klingon Baroness Princess Carla P. Knesset Rothschild III Hutchison and love it. Big Buxom babe. <sighs> Do you bite? <sighs> oh, yeah, I got a bit of a tan. As you can see, I'm going to get tan more when the sun returns. I'm going to get totally naked and just let her rip into me. I'm going to make a naked box. Two sheets, three sheets of plywood. You can just put it out, stand them up. I lay totally naked in the sun. I did that in Austria. I totally naked. It's behind Peter's home. Peter Kokoshin's home was high field of grass. At least two feet high and I'd lay on and down in and take all my clothes off and go sunbathing. Let's see if I'm checking on my tan here. Just from in February getting a tan. Cool. Yeah, I think so because I got this part. I believe I am. This part's still white. Huh. Now I'm sitting this way and check the other side. Wow, look at, yeah. Cool, huh? My legs, I don't know, I had, I think so. Yeah, a little tan, a little bit of a tan. Huh. Yep. It works. The sun is working. <laughs> it's not spring yet. But anyway, I should go. I mean, this totally long, incomprehensible talk of mine. Kind of like free association, I guess. It's psychologically, um, gets rid of tension and stress. I talk to the little kumquats out there on the internet world. 
Goodbye.